Welcome to a special edition of Crawford County Outdoors. I'm Dwayne Kohler and we are at Pimatuming Lake today with the Pimatuming Lake Association and I'm happy to say they're having a walleye tournament. Walleye fishing is fun. I can't wait to talk to some folks about that. Maybe we'll be able to talk to the winners and we'll be able to learn a lot more about walleye fishing. So stick with us. Joining us now is Dave Slozat from the Pimatuming Lakes Association. Dave, tell us about the association. Tell us about how, how it all got started and what it's all about. Well, they've been in existence since 1945. Uh, we are all volunteers, uh, nonprofit. Uh, we now uh, have our 5013C designation. So uh, we. Uh, have lots of volunteers, but we can always use more. You know, sure, they come and they sure. go. And how do they? How do they find you? Who do they? Who do they look for? Well, we have uh, we have our web page and uh, stuff. I'm not sure. I've got it written down there for you. Okay. All right. We'll, uh, we'll get that. We'll get that online yeah. for folks here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, each year we do our uh, fundraisers. Uh, we've done quite a number of projects. Everything you see out there, all the rock, uh, the launches, we've, this building right here, we paid for it. Uh, we just put a pavilion up down at Snodgrass, okay. uh, down at uh, the landing down there. So just had the concrete board Thursday, so. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so we, we do major projects as much as we can. We try to do one about every two years. Let's take a little talk here about Pimatuming. Pimatuming, the biggest lake in Pennsylvania. I even know a little bit of it hangs over into Ohio, but but um, so is walleye, is that like kind of the number one favorite fishing uh, fish around here in, in Pimatuming? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, I think walleye would probably be number one. I think maybe uh, the crappie might be number two. We, we generally have our uh, uh, crappie tournaments also. Um, the, uh, to give you a little information on the lake, we, we put in habitats because the natural structure out there is deteriorating away the way the logs. We put uh, in excess of 2,500 cribs wow. that we built. No, there's a crib sitting right there, like this. That's, so that might be where. That's what we put in last year. No, that might be where a young one can hide from from getting eaten by a bigger fish, yeah, right? It promotes, yeah. Okay. Uh, reproduction of the fish and so on. Okay. Um, we. The main cribs we build are, are porcupine, the porcupine juniors. They're a little different from that, but uh, <clears throat> they uh, we do them each year. June sixth, we're going to be doing our, okay. our uh, cribs, and uh, with the restrictions this year, the Pennsylvania Boat and Fish Commission is requesting only 15 people to build them because they don't, you know, right, right. they have rules. So, but uh, that's a big event for us each year. And uh, I think uh, uh, with the cribs, we generally have school kids. They bring busloads of kids to help build, which this year all adds off. We ain't allowed to do it this year, so, you know. It's been a weird year. It's been a weird year. Yes, it Going to get yes. better down the road, though. Going to get better. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you again about, so Conneaut's kind of big on, on bass. Um, my family has a cottage over at Canandota. Muskie's the big thing over there. Okay. Lake Erie, you hear a lot about the perch in Lake Erie and all that. And so, so walleye, that's the thing for Pima Tuming, huh? Well, I think, but now, if I was saying that to a muskie fisher, he'd probably beg to differ. Okay, okay. I think uh, there are an incredible amount of muskie in here, too. Okay. Nice ones. And there's 
Not a bad thing. Did I see someplace that there's a muskie tournament coming up uh, yeah. later this year? No, I've, there's probably in the excess of 50 tournaments on this day. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there's okay. a lot of tournaments. Okay, that's awesome. Matter of fact, today I think the Sportsman Club in Linesville is holding their basketball. Wow. So, okay. You know, the lake really gets used. Well, that's great. And uh, everything we do is promoting the lake. All our funds go right straight back into the lake, uh, promoting, you know, we're trying to make everybody happy and keep the keep it uh, environmentally sound. And, and, yeah. Let me ask you one more walleye question. I, I um, um, not much of a fisherman myself, but of the fish that I have gone for over the years, walleye, oh, is that great tasting fish. That's uh, that's a very uh, popular fish for, for, with me anyways, yeah. for, uh, for dinner. We have, you know, uh, it is a good fish. And uh, I know uh, other fish that they uh, catch here, like uh, perch, the crappie, bluegill, there's all, you know, a lot of species in there. But, uh, I think probably the big draw is the wall. Yeah, this one time this was, I think uh, this lake was being the walleye capital of Pennsylvania or something. <laughs> I don't know if that still stands, but we got a good good population. Uh, the Pennsylvania Fish Commission, they do stock, you know, so we have. You know, they keep it going. Okay. So so how was the turnout for the tournament today? Uh, a little bit light. Okay. We found out to be true with our crappy tournament. And it, it kind of held true. We're down, uh, we're probably down 30 teams. We had 68 uh, teams, I think, this year. Okay. Which is not, that's not bad. So one thing to do is to go online and look up Pima Tuming Lake Association, right? And then you'll get a chance to see all the events coming up. And yeah, I uh, I can get one of the girls there pretty well versed on. Okay. The uh, I'm not a, not big into the computer, okay. but, <laughs> but I uh, we do have our website. I can get that stuff for you. Super. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, I probably should be able to rattle that off. Well, Dave, thanks for being with us on Carver County Outdoors. All right. It's a great event you're having here. And joining us now, Celine Brook from the association. So, so tell us a little bit about how we got this event going today and how people well, found out about it and how the information gets out. Oh, well, we have a Facebook page under the Pima Tuming Lake Association. <laughs> We're updating our website currently, which is also Pima Tuming Lake Association. We reach out to all the individual community web pages in the area and just share, share and share and share. Okay. So we'll make sure to get Crawford County Outdoors. We're on Facebook too. Oh, yes. So we'll make sure we can get we can get hooked up there yes, and, and get the information out. So yes. and yes. I, I learned from Dave that there's a bunch of tournaments that go on every year. Yeah. Well, normally we do the crappie tournament in April. In April. Okay. The walleye in May, okay. and then we normally do the kids derby, which I coordinate in August. Now we cover that once, and it's probably been 10 years ago that we came out and covered that one. So this is great yes. that we come out for for another tournament here. Yes, because we had to cancel the kids derby this year. Oh, that's year. a shame. Well, we normally have over 400 kids, so you can't until recently. The, these <laughs> these last whatever it's been, 18 months or 20 months or whatever, had just been, well, let me ask you. I mean, to me, it's been crazy. It's, yes, you know, it's been crazy. Thank goodness we're getting, yes. over, we're getting past that yes. now. Yes, really. Well, what's, what's coming up? For this year, we have no more, no more fishing tournaments that we know about. Um, we just completed a pavilion down at the Snodgrass Boat Launch. Okay. So that um, is a brand new pavilion, not as big as this pavilion, but it's on the lake and people can enjoy that now. So what, what do you think about the turnout today? How was it in compared it was, to past I years? I think it was a great tor turnout okay. today. I think the weather might have helped a bit, but it was a great turnout. turnout. We have lots of fish that were checked in today. So, If you were going to say something to folks for down the road about Pima Tuning and about the association and about, what, what would you say? I would say that it's all volunteers that, that put on all of the events. 
For membership, it's $10 a year for anyone to join. And the $10 goes back into the lake itself. It, it, it supports the habitat that we have for fish. It supports structures across the lake, benches around the lake, and it all goes back into the lake. And all those things allow people to be involved, to get out, right. to, to get out right. and get outside. Get yeah. outside and do what you can do outside. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks very much for Thank being you. with us. Thank you. Well, we are here with the winners of the walleye tournament. Let me ask you guys to introduce yourselves here. Uh, Larry Zarlingo. And I'm Anthony Naples. So t tell us about, tell us about the, how did it go today? It started out slow and ended up being one of our best days we've ever had. Yes, for sure. So what, what's the, is there any magic for walleye? Anything that is special, what right kind of gear, right kind of, right kind of bait? The, the lake is awesome. We love pontooning. Uh, our jigs we were using, a girl from my wall, uh, Ohio Walleye Federation makes them for us, Samantha Kerr. We always use her jigs and we do great with them. I just so. do what he does. Okay. <laughs> hey, it worked, you're the yep. winners, that's I, yep. right. And I net his fish, so that uh, works out good. So yeah. now, now for me, um, there's lots of fish out there and they're all pretty good to eat, whatever walleye is it? By far, the, my favorite one to eat there. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, for, for sure. sure. Walleye, walleye are my favorite, for sure. They're, they're um, Pretty aggressive fish. They, you know, they like to battle and all that kind of stuff. But boy, they sure make it worthwhile at the end, right? They do. It we were good. using light line, and it was it was fun. We had a great day. So, what about pond tuning? Let me let me ask you about pond tuning. Uh, the pond tuning Lake Association put on this tournament, and they do a great job every year. They really do. Um, the lake, it's it's awesome. You're not going to catch it bigger fish than this and in the lake anywhere in Ohio. You're gonna to have to go to Erie and honestly, I would rather fish here than Erie any day. Any bite you get could be a four or five pounder. We missed a couple bites and we were sick because we knew it could have been uh, seven, eight, you know, it's crazy. So is there any magic spots here where you definitely wanna, you wanna go to get those? We fish ones? just north of the causeway okay. and we fish shallow. We always fish shallow. Shallow water. Yes, Start sir. Shallow okay. work deep. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, we'll start out in three and a half foot and work our way out till we find the fish. So somebody's just kind of, you know, kind of getting into this, you know, any, any advice for them? Anything to get them off and rolling? Uh, be patient. Okay. The biggest thing is being patient. Yep. First two hours, we had one 15 incher in the box. Oh, wow. Okay. So that fast, it could turn around. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so yes, for sure. Well, congratulations, guys. I'm glad you were able to, to be the winners Thank here. You. And thanks Thank for being you. with us here in Crawford County Outdoors. Yep. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations to the winners of the tournament today and, and best wishes to them. Um, stick with us. Chef Lisa is going to come up with a great walleye recipe. Stay, stay tuned. Jumping in with both feet, joining us now, since we're talking fishing stuff, we're jumping in with both That's feet. right. Chef Lisa. In so, the water. Lisa, you remember years ago, I did a trip with um, several local guys and we went to Canada and, and we did a bear hunt. And yes. the bear, we made some sausage and it was it was okay or whatever. Right. It's got a strong, you know, kind of a strong taste to it or whatever. Right. While we were there, we went walleye fishing. Mm -hmm. And holy mackerel, that's one of the best things I ever had to eat, ever. Um, that, that's good. That yeah. was phenomenal. Right. So whenever I heard about this walleye fishing tournament out of Pine Matuming, I thought, oh, Lisa's gonna love this. That's right, because you know, there's always a recipe. Oh, there's yeah. There's always a recipe. Well, what are you working on? Well, we're doing an old-fashioned baked walleye. Okay. Okay, and so I believe this recipe's been around for a long time. I made it for my family, it was pretty good. And I thought, you know, it's easy. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients, so I thought it would be nice um, to share this one. And sure. it's an old-fashioned recipe, so um, we're actually, we have m the ingredients we'll probably cut down because we're only going to use a couple fillets. Okay. Um, but uh, the original recipe is you're going to take uh, two-thirds of a cup of plain breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay, so we'll dump that in there. Two-thirds of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Okay. And then about a half a cup, and this is probably the secret ingredient, of mashed potato flakes. Wow. So I thought that was interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we're going to do some, uh, like a Lowry seasoned salt, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And then if, I'll, 
I'll get this one going. So it's just a matter of, you know, mixing that up really well. And you can add um, a lemon pepper season if you want instead of the Lowry's. I'm just following the recipe as they had it. So just mix it up really well. And then we're going to put some, because we're not doing eight or more walleye fillets. It's interesting. Some of those guys caught some really big walleye out there. I'm sure they did. We have a good friend who uh, does a lot of walleye fishing and has a lot of fish fries. And uh, we always enjoy that. So we're just going to put some in there. If we need more, we can use it. Okay. And then, because you're so ooh, good ooh. at cracking eggs, Dwayne, okay. let me up. I'll put this right here for you. I'm cracking them into this dish? Sure. Yeah, you mean, there you go. And then we can just put them right in here. Let's, so, go, let's go right-handed. I was going to say, you. that's fancy. Fancy stuff. Oh, there you go. And then if you would like to, it yeah. calls for four eggs, but because, again, we're not doing okay. a full recipe. We're just going to use two. And once Dwayne gets those, and you know, he's going to beat them up a little bit, we're going to add a little water. Uh, here, let me reach over if you don't mind, and then I'll pour that in there once you get that going. Because sometimes it gets real sticky and it doesn't want to oh, okay. attach to the the whatever you're dipping in there. So if we put about two tablespoons or so in there, it'll loosen that egg up a little bit. And I rinsed the fillets and I'm just going to pat them dry. Okay. Because if they're wetter, that's going to impact the yep. stuff sticking on, right? Yep, that's yeah. right. That's right. And we have some paper towel here. So we're just going to make sure that they're nice and dry. Yeah, we want the egg to stick to it. We don't want them watery. And then I wash my hands, so I'm good here. So what we're gonna do is have, we put some spray on our pan. I just lined oh, it with foil, okay. so it's ready to go. We have our oven turned on to 450, so it's a high temperature. So we're just gonna really make sure that we get a good amount of egg. So when it's a high temperature, that means it's going to cook sort of faster, right? Yeah, it's going to be, we're going to do 10 minutes on each side. Okay. Okay. just want to make sure that we get it really coated well. And, you know, you can even, and sometimes people do this, they'll double dip it. Oh. To okay. get it, you know, a little bit more. Like a second layer. Like almost. a second layer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put that on there. Doesn't that look good? Oh, yeah, it sure does. And it does make a mess, but, you know. A messy kitchen means you're cooking, right? Oh, by the way, too, the, the walleye tournament, it was a catch and release, okay. which is unfortunate. Right. So many of our local stores have walleye available. They do. Fresh uh, walleye. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I'm just giving it a double coating just because I like Parmesan cheese. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put that on there. And I'm messy, so I'm just going to rinse my hands. Okay. And then we're going to put that in our heated oven, at, like I said, 450 for 10 minutes. Then we're going to flip it, put it in for another 10 minutes. Wonderful. And then from there. My favorite part of the show. My favorite part of the show. Yeah. All right. Okay. You got to set that timer. 10 minutes. 10 okay. minutes. So, Lisa, we're almost ready to take the walleye out I know. there. That's a. Kind I'm of looking like... forward to it. Yes. And I have some lemon wedges okay. just in case. Okay. Some little homemade tartar sauce in case yeah. we want to use that. Because you know how this. Do you, how do you do homemade tartar sauce? Ah, uh, it's just relish and, oh, and okay. mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Okay. And sometimes I use my homemade green tomato relish because you can't really even tell the difference. But okay. uh, we're almost out of that. But I noticed there's already some tomatoes on my plant. So uh, I will oh, have some soon. Oh, 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 there it is. It's time. There it is. Okay, oven mitts on. Oh wow, look at that. Now Dwayne, we typically typically say voila, but you would say... Voila. There you go. Yes, How about that? that? Isn't that, that is, beautiful? That looks phenomenal. Yeah, so, you know, wow. it's that time. Let's see, I, I didn't wash off my... We'll just cut one of these in half. Sure. Get that flaky. Whoop. Yep, there you go, Dwayne. There you 
go. Wow. And look at that. That looks great. Would you like a little lemon? Yes, please. Okay, here you go. And now you just kind of squeeze it over okay, the top? Squeeze it over the top. Yep, you can serve it however you want. And then um, a little tartar sauce on the side, maybe? Sure. A little homemade tartar sauce. It's hot. Probably need to let it cool off for a little, yeah. a little bit here. Maybe cut into it nice and flaky. That's one thing about the wally. It doesn't have a st that strong fishy taste. Right. Or it's just a... Yeah, it doesn't smell that way either. Sometimes, mm. sometimes it does. You can see that. Mm. 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 Lisa, good job. That is phenomenal. Thank you. I can't take credit for creating this recipe. It's just an old fashioned walleye, baked walleye recipe. Mm. Very easy, easy cleanup. And that walleye is definitely one you want to try. It's not, yeah. It's meaty, you know? That's a hearty, hearty meal. It was interesting at the tournament. Them holding them up and putting them on the scale or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're those walleye are pretty They're big. They're good size. Pretty big fish. Like, They're good size. Uh, typically, I mean, they were kind of holding them like this, you know, and some hanging over both ends. There. Wow! So. Wow! Well, thanks to the Pimatuming Lake Association for putting on that tournament right. and inviting me to come out and, and uh, get to see the winners and all that kind of stuff. Lisa, thank you for the You're wonderful welcome. recipe. You're welcome. And a big thanks to the folks at home for joining us on Crawford County Outdoors. Come and see us next time. And I'm going to finish my fish here. So am I.